Hey guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and welcome to another episode of Tool Tuesday. Now this is episode 68 in my long time running series, Tool Tuesday, that shows off RC tools in the industry. Everything from bashing tools to race tools, it's all shown here and I'll have a playlist on down below that shows all of the other 67 episodes that I've done so far. Now in this episode, we'll be checking out the brand new MIP tool bag, along with a couple of new MIP tools, but I'm also here to announce that I'll be here next Tuesday, October 17th, to help unveil the the brand new Techno SCT 410 2.0. Yes, that's right. That is Techno's newest four wheel drive, 110 scale short course truck. Now I can't show anything now. It has been embargoed until next Tuesday at 5 a.m. So if you're smart, you'll subscribe to the channel and I have several videos showing off that brand new truck. So stay tuned. Now this is MIP's 15 inch 40 pocket tool bag. They assign number 5210 to this. And in this video, we'll be actually checking out all the specs of this thing, seeing you know how it unfolds, what it can actually hold. I'll be loading all of my MIP tools into this thing and see if this is really better than some of the other ones that are on the market. Along with that, we're also gonna check out the two new MIP turnbuckle wrenches that came out, the five millimeter and the 5.5 millimeter. Now doing a quick measurement on this, this measures out to right at about 11 inches wide and about eight inches deep. At the bottom down here, they have dual zippers with the MIP logos. These are kind of like a silicone rubber texture. Opening up the MIP tool bag, opens up very smooth zipper all the way open and it flips open to see everything inside. Taking a look inside, you have some pretty good real estate in here with these larger tool bands right here. You do have 24 of those and you do have 16 of the smaller ones down here. These are ideal for the MIP speed bits. On the left side over here, you do get an MIP logo that's been screen printed onto the actual bag. And then you also have a nice little reminder right here. It's a QR code to go ahead and fill up this bag with some good quality made in USA MIP tools. Now, if you remember in the very beginning of this video, I said this was a 15 inch bag and that's what's stated on MIP's website. Now, originally I measured the bag. It was 11 inches by eight inches. So not quite the 15 I was expecting, but if we do measure all the way across right here, it gets to right about 16 inches. So not sure where they got the 15 inch measurement from. It can't be a diagonal. I'm not sure where they got that from, but this bag does measure 11 by eight on the exterior, about 16 inches in total width here once you do have it open. Now, also in today's Tool Tuesday, we're taking out the brand new 5.0 and 5.5 millimeter turnbuckle wrenches. Taking a look at them up close, these are super quality tools. Now they are definitely tiny, but they fit well in the hand and they give you just enough purchase to get the toughest turnbuckle turned when you need to. Now, of course you have the classic amber handle that MIP is known for. All steel construction. You did some really cool laser etching on this one with the MIP logo. And of course the identifier for the size. And you do have a little color band that goes around the bottom of it just to identify it a little bit easier. Now me being colorblind, that absolutely does nothing for me. My educated guess would say it's green, but I'm not sure. Let me know down in the comments what color this 5.5 millimeter is. With all five of them together now, you can really see how good they look together and of course, it's always great to have the right tool for the right job. And with these MIP turnbuckle wrenches, you definitely do. Lastly, these are all 100% made in USA tools, which is so cool to see these days. All right, so I gathered up all of my MIP tools that I've collected over the years. This thing holds 40. I happen to have 41. Let's see if we can do it. But before we do that, I wanted your opinion on something. Should MIP make something like this? This is a quarter inch speed bit handle and this thing fits in here absolutely perfect for the speed bits. Should they make something like that? Put it on down below if you think they should. Amber handle, quick release right there for a quarter inch drive. Put it down in the comments if you think MIP should make a handle like that available for sale. Let's uh, get this thing loaded up now.
there it is. I was able to actually get 35 tools into this tool bag. I have just a few of the speed tip bits that are open. And I have this guy over here that's probably waiting for that quarter inch drive handle eventually from MIP. Now, overall, this thing went together great and it's really intended for their specific tools. Although pretty much any tools will fit inside. Their tools just fit perfect though. Up at the very top up there, these are pretty much the tools that I like to keep at home. These are my MIP black handle tools, but let's look at the case and what I fit into this thing. Starting in the front right corner, we have a 3.0, 2.5, 2.0, 1.5 millimeter hex drivers, a 2.0 ball in and 2.5 ball in. Upper right, we're going to have an 8.0, 7.0, 5.5, 5.0, and 4.0, all nut drivers up here. Upper left, we're going to have all of the turnbuckle wrenches, including the 5.5, 5.0, 4.0, 3.7, and 3.25. In the middle section right here, we're going to have all of our SAE. So we have the 332nds, 564th, 116th, 050. And I have a couple of extra metrics over there, a 1.3 and also an extra 2.0. The front left, we have metric on the left side and standard on the right. I may flip this because the metric is on this side. So we'll have to see how that goes down the line. We have a 1.5, 2.0 ball end, 2.0, 2.5, 2.5 and a 3.0 on the metric side. On the standard, we have a 1 16th, 5 64th, 5 64th, 3 32nd, 3 32nd. Got two of those way back in the SCTE days when I was stripping those things down left and right. And finally, you may ask, what is that one in the center right there? Well, this is actually a dirt pick. It's a 1.5 that I had broken off ironically in an MIP drive shaft. So went ahead and uh, filed that down. So it's a dirt pick. So all of my eight scale buggies, I can pick the dirt out of the bottom of the screw. Kind of a cool idea. Well guys, there you have it, the brand new MIP tool case, a couple of new turnbuckle wrenches, but I got some building to do with that new SCT 410 2.0 from Techno. So I'm gonna be using some of these tools right here to get that thing put together. But till then, I love you guys watching the channel. It's always fun to have new viewers uh, hit this channel up and see everything that I'm doing here at the RC Network. I haven't been around for a couple of years. I've been building up a new channel called the Tacoma Network. So if you wanna check out that channel, I'll have a link down below so you can check out my new Toyota Tacoma and see what I've done to that thing lately. But as always, if you like the video, there's a button for that. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. And finally, my name is Rich. Thanks for watching.